Today I want to show you a few techniques you can use with background stamps and distress oxidings to make really quick and easy cards. Hi everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome back to my channel. On today's video we are going to be working with background stamps, in particular with holiday background stamps, but of course the techniques I'm going to show you can be used for any other card. We are also going to be using the stress oxides simply because they blend really well together and they are my favorite inks, however if you don't have them you can use any other ink that works well for you. So let me show you these techniques and how you can make really quick and easy holiday cards. These are some of the supplies I'm going to be using today. Distress Excitings, blenders, background stamps, a few die cuts, cardstock, and more things I didn't show here but you will see during the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply color to all the panels. I'm going to be making three cards and three different techniques but they're all going to start at the same place, meaning they're all going to have the same color combination made in the exact same way. This is also a good way to save time when you're trying to make a bunch of cards. Once we have all the balance ready, it's time to start with the techniques. And the first one is really simple. You just need to use a black ink to stamp your background on the panel that you already prepared. And then use a white gel pen to color over the images of the stamp, whatever you want to highlight. In my case, I'm highlighting a few leaves, but you could choose, for example, to highlight the flowers. One flower, two flowers. This is up to you. I think this technique is really, really cool. It looks like you masked all those little flowers with leaves when you're actually just coloring over it. First card is ready, let's move on to the second one and we are going to be using the same background but this time we are going to white heat emboss it on a piece of vellum cardstock. This is a really nice option if you're looking for a softer look for your cards. Thank you. 
You can see that I'm only applying glue to that white edge that I created on my base card. That's because attaching vellum can be tricky sometimes because the glue will show unless you hide it behind some thick lines. This image doesn't have many thick lines, that's why I'm using this trick and it's going to work quite well. I'm also going to leave the card inside a big book because when you use heat embossing on vellum paper it warps a little bit. So this way I am going to make it completely flat. And we have already moved on to the next card. I'm using heat embossing again, but this time directly on the panel that we prepared before. Now, if you're using the stress oxide inks, make sure the ink is completely dry before you apply the embossing powder, otherwise it's going to be a big mess. So there you have it, three cards made in a really quick and easy way. You can see that I added a few sequins on the vellum paper one, but the other two I did not add anything else. I think they look good the way they are. So I hope you liked it. If you want to participate in a giveaway, you can go over to my blog and leave a comment there because we are celebrating the newest Simons & Stamp release with a blog hop. So see you guys very soon and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon. Bye.